Hello and welcome to HMS Tech Talks. Every year, HMS Networks releases a network survey uh, looking at the network trends on the market, which industrial networks are growing, which are declining, and what are the trends. And 2025 is no different, and we have the brains behind the sur survey here. Magnus Jansson, Vice President of Marketing at our INT division, Industrial Network Technology. Uh, so welcome to HMS Tech Talks. Hello, Thomas, and thank you. Um, so this survey has been kind of a tradition in, in the market now for more than 10 years, I think. Um, first, tell us about how are we doing this survey? Well, um, so this survey, as, as you say, it's something that comes back every year. So um, we, what we do, uh, we review um, our internal data, I would say, and uh, along with other information that we, uh, we get from key uh, industrial stakeholders and the network organizations themselves. And of course, we uh, review other marketing reports and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, by taking all of these things and put it together, I think that we get a good, reliable snapshot of the network trends and where the market is right, heading. That's one of the bigger players in industrial communication. There are a few, few players to, to, to do it better, I guess. Um, so, so let's have a look at this, this famous pie chart then, mm -hmm. then we present this year. Um, what are the trends that we're seeing this year? What are the differences from previous years? Well, um, the main takeaway, I would say, is the continued dominance of Ethernet-based networks. So what, what we see here is uh, the big three here, Profinet, Ethernet, uh, Ethernet IP, and Ethercat, uh, are uh, sort of dominating the, the, the pie here. Mm -hmm. And I would say that's the key takeaway. That's what's going on in the market, this uh, convergence towards Ethernet networks. Right. But one of the things that, that I find interesting when I saw this the first time is that we, we've been saying for a couple of years that, that field bus is still going strong and there are still a lot of new nodes uh, being implemented on, on, on field bus networks. But now that seems not so true. It seems that field bus is actually declining. Yeah, it is. So uh, it's still out there. And I would say the install base is massive. Right. And, uh, and uh, uh, being in the industrial market, uh, this is a traditional market where, uh, with long investment cycles, mm -hmm. and uh, and we 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 really see that uh, factory owners out there they they like to take care of their legacy networks. You know, it still works, uh, it still does its job, and new uh, nodes for for instance, Profibus are still added. Right. But the thing is. Um, that uh, more and more uh, devices need to be connected, uh, more functionality is requested, and this favors it uh, and technologies. Mm, right. So it is declining, and, uh, and that's um, it is true. Ethernet is the uh, dominant, uh, the dominant technology. Right. Out. And the, the big three are getting bigger and bigger pie chart than we've seen before. Um, uh, Wireless is also something that we we're, we're looking at, and that's still a, a trend. That this is this is still strong. It's still something that that the industrial market is taking to heart. Tell us more about wireless. Yeah, so wireless comes with, of course, unique ways of solving issues, especially for moving equipment, AGV stuff like that, where where um, uh, wired connectivity is just not an option. So uh, these um, these type of use cases and applications are driving um, th the need for wireless con connectivity. Mm. However, you know, um, it, uh, it says here on the chart it's uh, around um, uh, seven percent, and it has been around that for for a few years now. Mm. So it hasn't really taken off, but uh, it's there. It has a, uh, I would say, it, it has its fair share on you know in, in the number of new nodes installed. Uh, but we haven't seen this major um, increase yet. As in your home network, for example. Still a conservative business, but, but still a, 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 a strong part of the uh, market being in wireless connected. Yeah. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the, um, the regional markets here as well. If we, if we look at the differences between uh, uh, Europe or EMA and um, Americas and, and Asia. Yeah. Uh, tell us more mm. about that. Well, so in Europe, Profinet uh, dominates uh, for sure. Of course, with uh, Siemens. Yeah. Yes, um, and followed by uh, EtherCAT that has mm -hmm. had uh, a fantastic growth journey. Um, right. So that, that would be the dominant networks in, mm -hmm. in, uh, in Europe, I would say. Um, going over to the US, uh, Ethernet IP will be the dominant network and so. has been for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, 
looking to uh, Asia, we see uh, one interesting trend, and that's uh, that uh, Profinet and ETCAT are actually mm -hmm. uh, growing strong in China. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, we see CC Link IE being uh, continuously strong. With Mitsubishi, of course, yes. Mm -hmm. So, but this is an mm -hmm. interesting development. Right, but a stronger trend to, towards Profinet uh, and, and ETH, the CAT in, in, uh, in China in in particular. Okay, interesting. Um, so, Manish, you've been doing these surveys now for, for a couple of years. So are there any surprises this year as you see it? Well, I think, I think the trend is quite uh, clear uh, when it comes to um, um, more devices being, um, that are being added um, mm. in, in, in factories and that favors Ethernet. But uh, also being in this traditional work, you know, market space, uh, we, we usually see these long investment cycles and long trends and so on. And uh, what, what we're seeing now is a very fast decline of, of traditional field bus technologies. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's a, a bit of a surprise how fast it goes. Okay. So looking back at uh, just a few years, this pie chart that we're uh, putting out, it looks completely different. Uh, and field buses were still stronger. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And was uh, presented more in terms of uh, variety. Yeah. Now I think the variety comes as other layers. Uh, exactly, because e even though I mean it's it's a strong trend towards these uh, three industrial uh, Ethernet networks, there's so much more complexity to the industrial Ethernet networks. Like you know, TSN, you have uh, all the security matters. Oh, so there's still a lot of complexity that you need to take care of uh, if you're do doing network connectivity. Exactly, I think. Um, that uh, by, uh, by uh, the need of, of uh, connecting more devices, new problems will arise that, right. we need to, um, that we need to have new technology for. And that's what we are seeing with all of these new things that are being talked about in the marketplace, SPE right. and APL and TSN and what have you. So all of these things are, uh, exist to solve problems that, uh, that will arise with connecting more devices. Right, so, yeah. So consolidating towards Ethernet, but still a lot of complexity, which is good, I guess, for, for uh, the Enibus products that are, you know, solve these, uh, this connectivity in an easier way. Um, Magnus, ending up here, uh, you're presenting some news this year regarding the, the survey that you can actually take part mm -hmm. and be, be part of the survey for next year. Tell us more about this. Yeah, and I think that this is, uh, uh, this is actually following the, the trend as we see um, um, uh, with, with networking becoming more complicated or complex, I would say, adding on more things. Uh, we are now reaching out to, to more people to contribute to, uh, to see you know, what needs and requirements they will have uh, going forward. So we are putting out this survey, uh, which is a sort of an in-depth survey uh, where you can uh, give your view on what you think will be relevant in the next coming uh, years, what types of technologies you think uh, uh, will be relevant and what you actually need as a, as a user. So I think this will be um, uh, more information that can be added as a layer to you know, the insights that we already have uh, to be able to actually provide right. a more comprehensive view on the market uh, going forward. So, right. so asking uh, machine builders and, and uh, system integrators and, and what have you in, in the market to, to actually contribute to the service. So, yeah. yeah, and indeed. they will also get more in return. I, indeed, yeah. yeah. So w where can you do this? Where can you take part? Yeah, so you go to the, uh, the website, it's at the hmsnetworks.com uh, slash network survey. Okay, and there you can actually take part of this and, and then get some more information for next year. Right. Right, Magnus, thanks very much for talking about the, the network survey. So if you want to take part of the survey and if you want to know more about the, the, the new statistics here, you go to hmsnetworks.com slash network survey and you can both take part of the survey and also read the report for 2025. Thanks very much for listening.